Hey folks, this is David with UltimateDemonReview.com. Hey, I wanted to share with you um, a two-part video series basically on how we create accounts and how we submit content to those created accounts for Web 2.0 uh, platforms or Web 2.0 sites. Um, in this video, we're going to cover you know how to create the account. And if you watch some of my other videos, I'll create the account and then I'll submit um, start submitting to the sites, say after a period of a day or two days, even up to five days, it doesn't matter. Um, I like to be really patient with it because your success rates are going to be much higher if uh, you let your accounts season for a little bit. And then in video two, if you purchase from ultimatedemonreview.com, you'll get access to our members forum, and I'll post the second video there on how to kind of grow your Web 2.0 properties Um so you can make them available for backlinking. But let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you is kind of what is the difference between a Web 2.0 task and creating accounts. So let's take a look at this real quick. So the biggest difference is you still have to select the site. So you still have step one. You still have to create your accounts. Um, but when you create accounts, um, you don't have this tool here, right, which is basically what you'd use to submit your content. So that's going to be the biggest difference. And let's go over here. And Web 2.0. All right. And the first thing it's going to ask us is to select the sites. So we're going to select them. Notice I don't have these in groups or anything. All I, all I care about is um, creating accounts on each of these. I will group them later um, down the road, but not right now. It's not important. Okay. And let's go ahead and create account profile. Now, here's one thing to notice. So this came up blank. If you're um, using Ultimate Demon, if you're following along, you're going to wonder why this came up blank. All of these forms are not filled out. The reason why is I have this unchecked auto randomize an account profile each time I open this form. Okay, and the reason why is I'll typically add my own information into these fields. Now, you can always come over here and just hit the dice button and it automatically fills in this information for you um, if you need it. Okay, so okay. Now what I want to do is I want to, one thing I don't like is you see these uh, usernames how it has like 93, 65, 62. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, if you see, I, I had an article directory, and um, I literally would go in there and mass delete profiles with the two digit, um, you know, uh, two digits in their username because I knew that it came from a tool like Ultimate Demon or SE Nuke or what have you. So, what I want to do is I want to eliminate those. And what I did is I created uh, before this video kind of a list of my own first names. Now, this is 100 first names here. Uh, but the thing is that Ultimate Demon doesn't won't take all 100 of them. Okay, so what I want to do is, uh, and I just found that out actually, um, not too long ago. So let's go and do this. Hit, hit Control A, let's delete that. Control V. Okay, see so it took it. I need to close this uh, spin syntax right here, and let's go back to. I wonder if it takes 99. Let's see. Nope, doesn't do 99. Oh, let's see, let's see if it does. Uh, I'll count these later. I'm just kind of curious to see. Okay, it does that. Okay, now username. Now here's what I did with the username. Is I basically, um, and if you go to the members form, I'll go ahead and upload this sheet for you. But uh, here's the first name. Right here's the last name, and then the user ID is I have here, and I want to use this user ID um, over uh, any of the other uh, user IDs with digits in it. Now you're probably asking how do I get it spun right? So this is pretty simple. Control C, and uh, you actually you have to do this a little bit ahead of time. If uh, you know, in fact, I think you can probably do it here. Let's see. What am I looking for here? Okay, yeah, you can. So what I did is I went over here 
to website URL spin, right? Click on that and then hit control V and see what it does for you. It automatically spins those usernames so you can use these as you fill um, uh, as you need. So let's go ahead and copy these. Let's go ahead and delete this. Cancel. And for usernames, control V. Right, and let's close that bracket. All right, so there we go. So we have usernames that are now set up that don't look so spammy, right? And for most part, they're going to match um, some of these. So now it's going to be spun, so there's going to be some discrepancies. I'm okay with the password, no big deal there. I created an email earlier, and then also uh, what I did is I went in and um, created a folder which has some scraped pictures in there. Um, oh, I'm supposed to be a female, so this is a female profile. And then let's see what else do we need to put in here. Alright, all that looks good. Uh, author's bio, I may have to put something in there, but let's pull this up again. Alright. Tell you what I'm doing, I'm going to take the site URLs. I'm going to paste those in there. And again, I'm just using, uh, working off of this sheet here. Subdomains. And this is what I want some of my subdomains to be called, right? In this case, uh, for the example, we're using Ultimate Demon, so it'll be Ultimate Demon dot whatever dot com. Okay, the main title. Let's go back here again. I'm okay with that. Um, let's spin a job title. Uh, Management Information Systems Director. Sounds good to me. And let's go ahead and click on this little dice and it throws up some numbers for us. That's great. And let's see, company name. We're not going to fill that out. I don't think we have to. Website title. Um, let's see if I did this here. Uh, let's go ahead and spin some stuff here. And again, we're not going to go too crazy with this. You could, um, you know, really try to optimize this if you want to. But it's going to look, you know, the, the further, or the more you optimize it, the more spammy it's going to look. So I know that we're probably going to have a low success rate because this is, this one's pretty aggressive when it comes to, um, you know, using keywords as re as it relates to what I want to backlink into these web tool profiles, but uh, we'll see. All right. All right. So let's see. Uh, author's bio. I don't think it's going to ask me for something there, but let's see. Uh, last name. Uh, see what it told me is that the last name had an incomplete spin block, so I want to come up here to last name. And I use the parentheses instead. Oh. Okay, good. Let's hit save, and it's asked me for an author's bio, which I thought it did, um, and I didn't bother spin it, spinning that. All right, so I'm going to spin this whole thing here, and uh, okay, so see, what I did is I highlighted the whole sentence, now I can spin the whole sentence.
I'm going to go ahead and put this on puzzle. I'm going to do a few of these um, just for the sake of time, and I'll come right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. Um, so I went ahead and spun a few sentences in there, and then I hit um, replace synonyms, and this is what we have. So, um, And I keep them really simple. I, I generally don't try to put a whole lot into author's bios. Um, and in fact, if you read some of these, it kind of says, I hate filling out author's bios. So, um, all right, so subtitle, I'm going to leave that blank. And I think we have just about everything here. So let's go ahead and hit um, save there. Oh, company name is empty. Uh, let's say I work for the man. All right, and what I'm going to do is make one of those blanks so it's a, um, fully spun. Okay, and let's save that. Subtitle is empty. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to say. Uh, Now, one thing to realize is that not all of these subtitles and headings are going to be used, so um, don't feel like you have to spend an inordinate amount of time trying to get them done. All right. Okay, so we're good there. Um, I did want to check one thing. Uh, so the accounts there, let's go ahead and change proxies. Now, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use my global, or excuse me, local proxies, and what it does is it's going to attach... Um, a proxy with an account so when I resubmit again it's going to use that same proxy which is going to make it look a lot more natural that, that a single person is filling out the form and filling out their Web 2.0 site um, from one computer so um, I like that I think whenever you start using the global proxies and if you update these things enough you know you're gonna have a list of 20 30 40 proxies and that looks really spammy that's one of the other things I'll uh, I've noticed after having an article directory is, um, you know, you you quickly will find the accounts that'll, that'll hit you with like 20 IP addresses, right? And you immediately delete them out, um, even without even looking at their content. So, what I want to do is, um, let me go to my proxies here. And use custom proxies, paste. All right, uh, test proxies. All of these are really good. I hate using proxies in these videos because it means I have to go back and uh, grade them all out after a while. I don't even know if it matters. These are all private proxies, so you need a password anyway. Okay, um, local proxies. Okay, good. I think we're good there. Account creation, new task name. All right, submit now. I want to run them all now. I'll retry after three times. Verify email after 10 minutes, okay? Um, enable account protection. And again, I like to keep this slow because I'm in no rush at all. And typically, the slower I found that the, uh, the better your success. And let's hit save. And here we go. We're going to hit the submitter. And there we go. And it really is that easy to create an account. Um, it helps if you... Um, have a lot of your information already pre-filled out um, and in fact when it comes to spinning long lists you can come over here to tools convert spin to text and this is what I actually used to spin a lot of the uh, a lot of this information so if I had oh uh, let's say I had a uh, let's go and save that cancel let's just move you out of the way for the time being okay so if I had the list here, all right, what I basically did is just copy the list, and I'll take it back over to Ultimate Demon, you paste it in here, and see it spins it for you. And then you just copy that to clipboard, you put that into your um, uh, notepad, and then you have kind of first names, and there you go. And it makes it really, really easy um, to be able to do a whole lot of spinning to keep your accounts looking um, pretty much unique. Um, without having to spend a lot of time and manually do it, of course. So this convert to spin function um, is a really nice feature, and it's uh, one of those things that you don't 
you don't hear a lot about, but it's just really, really nice to have. Anyway, um, I will continue the second part of this video, which is posting content to these created accounts um, at the members forum. So if you haven't purchased Ultimate Demon yet um, and you want a $50 discount with the Ultimate Demon bonus, you also get access to our members area, which will have all of these videos on there. Um, feel free to sign up. If you sign up somewhere else and, you know, the bonus just isn't living up to what it uh, what you thought it was, I call that the ultimate mistake. You can actually buy the Ultimate Demon bonus for $70, $75 and join our community as well. Anyway, I hope uh, that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, send me an email or um, feel free to comment on the blog. Thanks and take care.